Hello, it's Amy, One Mommy Scrapping, and I have my very first layout made with the September Secret Not Secret Click Club kit. It's a mouthful to say all at once. Um, I filmed my unboxing right before I did this layout. I was so in love with the papers that I received and the embellishments and how perfect they were that I immediately went right into doing a layout. The picture I have is of my daughter at Disney. Um, we were at the Magic Kingdom on her birthday. And I have a variety of papers from the kit, including the 6 by 6 paper. I've got The black thickers came with the kit. The pink ones are from my stash. And I've also pulled some other things um, from my stash as well. So I start, I'm starting off with this um, blue diagonal paper from Bella Boulevard. Love Bella Boulevard. It is just absolutely perfect. It has these black um, plus signs on the back. And I'm a teacher, so those are always plus signs to me. <laughs> Uh, so I've set my other stuff aside and I get my black distress ink to ink the edges. I love to ink the edges of my pictures and papers and stuff. I usually use black or gray or brown. For my Disney album, I've noticed I'm tending to lean more towards the black or the gray though. The next sheet of paper I'm picking up is that I'm going to add at least, is this polka dot paper. This is from the Glitter Girl collection. When I saw it, I it was like perfect for this photo of my daughter. I think I mentioned this is from her actual birthday. We surprised her with a trip to Disney. I've got to ink these edges too. So the her birthday happened to come smack dab in the middle of the trip. So this was her actual birthday and she... We spent the day at in the Magic Kingdom, and I love the colors and how well they coordinated with her outfit. Um, you saw me motion to the yellow heart, your yellow circles on that page. Those have bluish purpley, excuse me, bluish purpley um, hearts in it. And when I cut the paper, I didn't realize that, but I cut it sideways so the hearts were sideways. So. I had to make sure I covered those up. Normally, it wouldn't have mattered, and I would have made sure they showed. Because it was a nice contrast. Ooh, excuse me. Now, um, I'm trying to fit in some other papers. At first, I picked this one yellow pattern. The black and white on the other side, I felt were too busy. But I did really like the black and white. Um, my kit came with this one sheet of star paper, black with white stars, from a 6x6 six six, um, paper pad. I thought that was absolutely perfect. It worked well with the black circles in the background, and I knew I was going to use the black thicker, so I figured that would be a good way to ground it, but still have some visual interest. Because it's from a 6x6 six six pad, and I have a 4x6 photo, I needed to do something, and I wasn't willing to cut this photo. So the alternative was to cut the 6x6 six six paper. If I did that, though, I needed to um, have something covering the cut. So I took a strip of the 6x6 six six paper of... This one I know is from Glitter Girl. The Black Star maybe too, I don't know. But I took the 6x6 um, six six unicorn paper because it's a picture of my child at Disney and there's magic and unicorns are magic and, you know, that was kind of my thought process. Plus, I mean, unicorns, you can't go wrong. And so, perfect. <laughs> so I used that to cover up the cut line I made and I'm trying to get everything lined up and I really stink sometimes when I do this at lining things up perfectly. I try to, this is the first time I've even tried using that T, the T square to get it all to match. So it worked out overall. And honestly, with the unicorn paper there separating it, it's not, if it's off a millimeter or two, no one's really gonna notice. The only person probably gonna think anything of it is me. My family certainly doesn't care. And to be honest, if anybody out there in YouTube land watching cares, then well, not a big deal to me. You're not looking at my albums. So I wanted some more layers of paper in there. There was this yellow one from Illustrated Faith, I believe it is. It's got a gorgeous text on the other side of a pretty aqua blue. Absolutely lovely. But I want to use this yellow side. Since I am covering up the yellow dots, you're not going to see those, but I know yellow will coordinate and it's something to kind of balance out the dark in the black that I'm using and kind of bring a little more calmness, I guess. It feels funny saying that with dots all over the yellow paper, but it brings a little bit of calmness to the 
wild polka dots of the glitter girl paper in the back. I, um, I'm trying to see what else I'm doing now. Apparently, I'm off the screen. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm trying to look for more layers. I love to layer my paper. And I felt like this needed something else. And so I grabbed some of my 6x6 pads. I have way too many of those. But I really love 6x6 because of the print. is It's smaller. So I grabbed the little by little pad first. And unfortunately, I end up not using anything from these. I do use some 6x6 pads I own or some offcuts in another layout. The second one I did with this Kit Club kit. And I'll be doing that later. I really do like this star paper from the Star Shine collection. And I think it could have worked. I just felt like I couldn't figure out a way to make it work right now. And filming it made me a little nervous, I guess you could say. <laughs> Even recording the audio now makes me a little nervous. So sorry about that. So I'm looking at some Amy Tan, trying to find some things I could layer. Just stuff with the bright colors. I wish I could speed this up even more. I don't know what else to say right now. Thanks for listening. So I pulled some things and then I have this pink camera print. This did come with the kit. It looked like it may have been from a paper pad though. It didn't have a branding strip on it. So I'm not quite sure where it's from. I cut it and even though you don't get a full camera straight across, you still, because you're able to see the two halves and a little bit more of half for each one, you're able to see and you know what the shape is. I don't need a whole bunch. So we end up just cutting off a little strip to slip under the yellow at the top. And then I do the same thing at the bottom. So it gives the illusion that there's an entire strip of pink underneath it. But you and I both know that there's not. It saves paper and it lets me use that um, pink camera print somewhere else. I originally was thinking, here I go with my T-square again. I'm trying. Um, I originally think, I'm thinking though, um, I would be cutting up the cameras and using those like a die cut thing to add some continuity to embellishment clusters. But, excuse me, that didn't happen. And I'm trying to make this pretty paper work. I really am. I just can't seem to get it to work. Everywhere I put it, it feels like there's too much of that aqua color. And finally, I just I'm like, forget it. Let's just get the paper down, get the picture down and move on. That's been my biggest downfall is that I will spend so much time fiddling. Do I want this? Do I want that? I can be in my scrapbook room for two hours and not even have a page completely done. So you saw that yellow um, puffy star that's from the Glitter Girl kit. And so is that unicorn. And originally I was going to use the star, which says the word sparkle in it, as part of the title. And then I pointed out that one picture from, or the one sticker from the sticker sheet, also Glitter Girl. And it said, you are pure magic. And I was like, oh, that's the perfect title. So pure, or yeah, pure magic is my title for this page. Now these pink glitter thickers are from my stash, but the color matched beautifully. And I thought with the black in there that they really set each other off. The black thickers honestly weren't my favorite font. They've not been. I have some similar ones and I think in a different color. But I really, really like how they pull together here. They pull the black dots from the paper. They pull the black mat. And it just adds a nice piece of contrast. Because they're both made of the same material... It's not too jarringly different to have the different color and different fonts. Now, there are these little tiny holographic stars, and I actually don't believe I use those. I think I use one sticker from that page that says, oh, so cool, it's a little arrow. You'll see that at the bottom left soon. Now, that unicorn, that was the one that I said, I absolutely have to use this right away or my daughter is going to steal it. She didn't know I got the unicorn in my kit. And it wasn't until I showed her this page that she even knew I had it. She's like, that is the coolest unicorn. I think the unicorn looks perfect up there by the Pure Magic, but it's too tall. It's like, dang it. So I have to figure out another way to make it work. I'm trying to find some different things for layers. I got these beautiful, large white tags with a silvery outside. And they ended up not working really well. And I had some doilies. And I'm trying out just these couple things. I'm like, can I make the unicorn 
and the star work together. And it just, nothing I did combining them felt right. I ended up putting the unicorn completely on its own. And that unicorn is just so cool. Its mane is lenticular, so it changes color as you shift, which I just think is the most awesome thing. I had to grab my drawer of adhesive to get some foam dots to um, put the unicorn up on. I felt like it needed some more dimension, especially with the fact that the sparkle star is a puffy one. And then the title itself is also raised up. So... I'm putting it there. It's overlapping my photo just a bit. I'm not too worried about that. But I'm going to add some foam dots and then stick it down and try to just continue to move on. That has become my most recent goal for scrapbooking is stick it down, move on. I've got so much to do. I um, printed off over, over 270 photos of my Disney trip and that's just the first run through of our week there and I'm there are still so many more I need to print out, but I, if I do that, I'm not going to ever get anything else done. If I keep, you know, second guessing each embellishment I put down, you can see that oh so cool arrow in the middle. I pull that out. I just, there's something about it. I really liked it. I end up do putting it sort of in that same position um, down the road. I'm, uh, my kit came with this black and white baker's twine. I thought that would look pretty good in the, um, it, it, as part of the tag. And the tag does go um, under that Pure Magic title. And I was originally planning on gluing down the um, tassel part, and I ended up not. It, I, I like the looseness, and it goes over, like I'm looking at my layout right now, I have it on my on my lap. Kind of goes over the C a little bit, but it kind of ties it in as well. So I put the puffy sparkle star at the bottom. So I've got my one embellishment cluster at the top by the unicorn. Another one at my bottom, the bottom of the photo. And then my third one is going to be there um, by the journaling. And I saw these asterisks on this page. And you see I added one up uh, by the unicorn, and then I put, I can't tell if it, oh yeah, I did, I put one by the star, and there isn't a third one, I was so bummed, um, this is my, all my extra little embellishments, I have them sorted by color, and then I also have, those ended up getting filled up, so I bought the set of color drawers too, and then those got filled up, so I bought another set of color drawers, so, Everything's kind of split by color. That's how I think a lot of the times. I love that bow. I wish I had been able to make it work. And the star was nice, but it just didn't quite fit. Yeah, there's something that just felt a little off about it. Those hearts and stars would have worked well. Um, I ended up not adding them because I end up in when I open up the pink drawer. I find some gorgeous pink glittery chipboard stars that were absolutely perfect because they did match beautifully my title. And I really wanted to make that work. I so wanted to get that one arrow in because I had I wanted that. I can't talk. I had the arrow at the bottom for Oh So Cool, which I don't think I've quite added on yet. I can't tell. My little box is on top of that. Um, so I wanted to see if I could somehow pull in other arrows and I wasn't able to do that. Every layout needs a little bit of washi, so I went ahead and grabbed that. You can see I'm moving it around, trying to get it to work. It just, uh, I just couldn't get it. There's the sticker. It ends up not going there. I end up moving it. So I'm adding some more to the bottom. I think if I had planned a little bit ahead with the idea of that turquoise glitter arrow, it would have worked just fine, but I didn't plan ahead, so. Oh well, too bad, so sad, as I tell my students. All right, here's my little pink one, and those are the pink glitter hearts. I want to say they're Studio Calico. They may not be. I don't know. 
and these are Amy Tan stickers from I don't know which collection, but I pulled them out. I have another sheet of them too. You can see I've used maybe about a third, I guess, maybe over a third of those stickers. I'm just looking for more stuff. I just felt like it needed some more pink to balance it out. I noticed um, I added a lot of pink and yellow. I didn't add so much of the aqua color because with the background being aqua and then the unicorn being aqua, I kind of didn't want to steal the show, so to speak, from those. So this is where thinking ahead really would have helped because I'm trying to fit washi tape under all of my other embellishments that I currently have down. So had I gone through and thought about the washi tape ahead of time, I could have saved myself quite a bit of headache. Let's watch me struggle. I feel like I should hum or something. I didn't like how the washi tape went over the edge of the white polka dot paper, so I just shortened it. There you go. I don't think you could see that quite on screen. I need to work on where my camera's positioned, apparently. My lovely adhesive for again. Needs some um, glue dots now. now. This is where, if I had actually looked at those hearts, they have adhesive on the back. I don't discover this until after I've put one of them down and I pull the second one off and the backing comes off. I'm like, well, duh. So I want to add one of these glittery hearts to each of the embellishment clusters, kind of to tie them together. A lot of times my embellishment clusters are a little closer together, close-knit. Some of these are very spread out for me. But I felt like it mimicked the polka dot paper from the Glitter Girl collection. Everything's kind of spaced out, so it felt right. I have had these little translucent yellow hearts and stars for I don't know how long. I really don't. It's been quite a while. And so I said, oh, I've got these. I can use them. So I added three hearts to each of my embellishment clusters. And so I'm left with just a few hearts in the package and a whole lot of itty bitty stars. I'm going to have to find some smaller glue dots. I know I, they make them, I just can't seem to locate them. I had them at one point. But those stars are not going to go on with the ones I got. Even the mini ones are a bit large. That's something else I'm trying to get over. Like, the glue I use doesn't quite cover all of the back and so you can kind of see if you look hard but again the people who are looking at my album aren't looking at glue dot placement and I gotta remind myself of it now I have these small translucent enamel hearts basically I don't know what they're made out of I want more of these these are amazing I do not know where Christina got them but I need some more I need more colors I need more sizes they are amazing So I'm just adding, um, I think it's just I added one heart to each of the clusters. I'd like to be able to use these hearts on multiple layouts. So I decided to use some of the phrase stickers. So I remember this up by the unicorn. And then over by the journaling tag, this was awesome. And then down by the star at the bottom, I'll be putting one that says, hey, hey, happiness. And all of these just fit my daughter. I mean... <laughs> She's just, she was just so excited on this page. And she's like, I am in Disney World. It's a complete and total surprise for her. Um, I am adding in some small rhinestones. And again, this was something I haven't seen much of. But the rhinestones aren't just clear. They have that Aurora Borealis effect on them. So it kind of shifts a little bit when you look at them from different directions. I love that. It's something just a bit different. And for some of these pages, like this one about my daughter at Disney, it's just perfect. I don't see myself using those for tons of different things. 
I mean, I would prefer clear more than anything, but pages like this, that little bit of something extra is just so nice. And I think that means I am pretty much done with the page. I do add journaling um, off screen. I don't like to journal. I find that to be incredibly difficult. But looking at this page, I'm finished and I love it. The trip, my daughter, they were both pure magic. And she is still over the moon, you know, two months later about this trip to Disney. So I am so glad we went. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.